uh, hi all uh, welcome to my channel once again so today we will discuss uh, about the firebase interface with the arduino and uh, last time we have discussed the firebase interface with the arduino but this time we will be uh, doing something uh, more like we will be controlling our arduino board led uh, with the help of the firebase database uh, okay let us start with the small introduction of the firebase so uh, as we know like firebase that is used in a uh, lot of uh, places like uh, in the development and the uh, quality services okay and the uh, growing the acquisition and all the things we are using the firebase it is very popular nowadays and firebase basically that is used to develop the backend services like real-time databases authentication hosting storage cloud messaging remote configuration so a lot of things uh, we are able to develop using the firebase and there are so many things that you can see over here but we will be mostly focusing on the real-time databases okay uh, and uh, in the later on videos i will show you how uh, you can use this for the home automation as well but for the time being i will just display a, a little demo a small demo uh, like how to control uh, your leds uh, in the real time uh, using your firebase account so let us start so as you can see in my previous video uh, that we have already created one uh, node over here that is we named it it as a number okay so you can go through that video and directly you can uh, follow the same steps those are quite similar okay and uh, just follow those steps and create a node over here in the database in the real-time database and uh, let us start with the coding here okay so the upper part part is almost same whatever we have we had in the last video in this video we will discuss only what are the changes i have done okay if you uh, if you again want me to show so what you can do is you can go to the file you can go to examples and directly you can do one thing uh, you can go here the firebase not able to search it just one moment yeah sorry so here firebase arduino and directly you can open firebase demo esp8266 the upper part you can use the same and host and configuration these things authentication these things already we have discussed in the last video so please go once through that content and uh, now we will start here so what we are doing here is first of all we are getting the value okay from the firebase whatever the value will be setting in the firebase so basically what we uh, i am trying to show over here is whatever the value will be changing in the database that will reflect to the arduino okay and uh, uh, means whatever the value will be changing to the uh, in the firebase uh, console so accordingly we will change our leds over here okay so we'll be getting the value and then we are checking whether it is successful or fail if it is fail then we are just showing a error message and if it is pass then just what we are doing is if value is equal to is equal to one then we are doing the led on that's it and led built in whatever the led we already have in it okay and then we are giving some delay and we are just waiting once uh, uh, like if value is equal to one then only we are uh, turning it on or else whatever the value will be we are just putting it as led off that's it and this again we are using the built-in led uh, that you need not to configure uh, you need not to like uh, take care of this since led built-in is already configured as the like which pin it is so that is already over there mentioned over there that's all we will be doing in this and okay so uh, i have already flashed in my arduino so you can just flash it okay there is no much changes it is very simple code okay and after flashing maybe uh, I, i'll show you see this is my uh, add you know i i'll re i'll reset it and i'll i'll, I'll show you how this works okay okay so now it's connecting with the wi-fi yeah it got connected okay so now leds actually the thing is uh, here you can see leds off when we are putting it as low uh, okay the problem here is like my led that is connected from both sides to the vcc once i will give the ground means zero from one side then only it will uh, start so that's why it is showing like uh, since it is getting zero 
so that's why it is showing as a led off but it is from in the hardware thing it is turning on so it will uh, work as a ulta okay hope so you understood this so now i got the value is zero so i'll put my value over here as a one yeah you can see as soon as i change the value the number and i got and here also you can see led on means it's ulta okay so based on this thing you can just change it so now you can see the number is one and led is off again i will do one thing again i will check it see led is on and that thing will reflect over here led is off okay so this is a very simple thing okay so you can do it for uh, anything uh, you can control your uh, not only led anything any appliances from the home and all the things you can uh, do it but this is not the perfect thing okay so slowly and slowly i'm putting my videos into my channel so you can go through all those videos and once everything will be finalized uh, then you can do it for your home as well so you can have a complete package of the home automation so slowly i will be putting those videos as well okay uh, that's it from my side for this video thanks a lot for watching my video hope to see you soon again